if you grow up in a church culture, regardless of what the culture is, maybe it's overtly supernatural or spiritual, or maybe you have to be under the radar with it. Still, when you learn to use different language and kids, you know, they just use straight up language. I, I remember my first prophecy to a kid. And I remember looking at him saying, you're going to be a great revivalist. You're going to be a prophet for God. And the kid's looking at me, you know, he, he, I, he might as well have been picking his nose, you know, he didn't care. And I stopped and I, and I saw a picture for him. And I said, hey, you're a kind of kid who you sneak, you, you're sneaky. You hide from your mom sometimes. And I saw him hiding behind the steps of his house. And when I said, you're kind of sneaky, you hide from your mom, he kind of got a smirk on his face. And his mom was standing behind him and she kind of gave that look like, oh, that's where you've been. And I said, you know, the reason you go behind those steps and you hide there, because you hear God there. And you're going to mm-hmm. hear God in the secret place. And you're going to be a voice for God in wow. the public arena. And what exactly what God showed me there was I was saying exactly the same thing in church language, but he couldn't understand it. So I had to bring it down to the language of a kid. Man, man you know? this is so good. So, so I, I think that, you know, what God does is he enables us to speak in a language that people can understand because love always interprets. Love always interprets the language of heaven to earth. And so, yeah, that was a major learning experience. And then the following year, I had another one, another experience with the Lord where he said, I don't want you only to pray and prophesy over business owners and business managers. And I did that for a full year. I think it was the year 2000. And so those were the three main things for me was prophetic prayer, praying over everyone that I could and learning that God has so much to say that there's no limits to what God can say. I can pray for every person in the room. And if I can pray for every person in the room, I can prophesy over every person in the room. Second is the language. If I can develop the language that a child can understand me, then a business person can understand me, a homeless person can understand me. And then when I began to prophesy over business people, I learned that God doesn't just want to speak into spiritual topics. He wants to speak into everyday topics. And in fact, he sees business as a spiritual topic. And so I've had, and you know, through my journey, I've developed that. And one of the things I do is I speak to a lot of business people. Uh, I have a trip to Switzerland in just a couple months and we're tagging onto that a business uh, day where we'll have businesses and business people that will pray and prophesy over. And I love doing it because God thinks business is spiritual. God thinks everyday life is spiritual and he has something to say about it. 